This is in continuation to my previous video on C sharp RDLC report. What are we going to see here? Let us add one pie chart in addition to bar and add a combo box. When you select R states, the, the performance and the profitability is for all the operations together and the name also all states. And if you select, for example, North Carolina, the name is getting changed. The entire report is for North Carolina. Now, let us proceed with the code. Up to here, it is same. It's as explained in my previous video. Here, we had the connection string inside the form load. Now, we are going to add other functions where you may need the connection string. So, we need to take it out from the form and place it here separately. Of course, within that master form. This is change one. Second thing, we need a code to populate uh, state names in our combo box. There is a separate function which I have introduced for adding uh, state names to the combo box. First, let us create a combo box and then come back to this. To add a combo box, select here in the toolbox, combo box. And I would like to name it as state name, right click, properties. Then select a label. Statement. Just move it nearby. Now we need to fill this combo box with the code. The code is here. So this will populate when the form is loaded. Populate combo box. First, we clear the state name combo box items. Then I have all states, which first we will introduce as one of the items which may not be in the uh, in our database, so that when you select all states, the entire operational report comes. Then this is, as you know, this connection string, and you open the connection string, select distinct state name from our same data table, order by state name, and you run the query. And here, what we are trying, we are trying to add the state names as a string to that. This code, when you run it. The, the list gets populated and we want by default a state all states to be selected so state uh, combo box selected item all state the entire processing of reports we had it under master form now whenever there is a change in the state name i would like to process uh, reprocess the report so let us take out that code within this and put it as a function called report processing. So this is the function, new function which we introduced to report processing. Here we get, we are getting the state name, combo box dot text comes as a M state name. This is the report which you know very well. Up to here you know which we used earlier along with the, along with the group name. Now if if the M state is not equal to all states, you introduce a var condition. So, what is something different here is this particular step and this particular step. The rest all same as, as of our previous code. Now, we need header to have the state name. For that purpose, we need to declare a parameter. Let us go to code. You go to form design. Here, control alt press T. Here you right click and add parameter. I have already added a parameter here. I will right click and show you that. You just type the parameter name, leave it as text and click OK. Here the right. Title is an expression, performance monthly chart for and parameter, see here, it's 
how this parameter is passed is in this in this code. So we normally we stop with this in the previous report. Now we will have add parameter so that the, the parameter is passed on to the report. So add parameter as a report parameter and the new parameter is this and the value is m state. Then it gets applied to the uh, report viewer and the viewer is now. How to trigger the changes in the uh, in the report based on state name? So select the combo box, right click, properties, go to trigger, selected index change, double click, you get here a report processing as a separate function. You add this, click save. Let us now create a pie chart. I just moved our bar chart to the right now. Select chart and make a pie chart. Make a chart. Select 3D pie chart. Click OK. We have a legend on the right side, so we don't need the legend. Now, title also we don't need. Delete. Select and delete. Now, select the chart. Here we need that revenue. Then we need here we need by year. Now right click, add label. To format this, let us follow the same procedure adapted. We will copy and paste. Right click, series label, label, paste. See here, values are here, so it will automatically pick up when you copy and paste. Click OK. Font 8. Click OK. Now, let us change the color as well. See here, series, select, right click, series. Here we have fill. Copy this color. Here, select the chart, right click, series properties, fill, automatic, change it, click OK. Here actually we are showing the percentage and revenue in one line, but I want to show it in two lines. Right click, label, in front of K we can see one space. Here you copy this. This code will take the percentage to the next line. Let us test it now. Say, yeah. Select California. Yes. This is for the and the state name is appearing here. When it is all state, it shows all states. You could improve the presentation of pie chart by making this change. Right click. 3D effect. Here you say rotate 90 and here 55. Click OK. Save. Now again you run it. See the view. You have your report now. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Your feedback on this video will help me a lot. Please leave your comments. Consider subscribing. Thanks once again.